This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Monday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, Seeking Healing. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel of his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. It would have been truly awe-inspiring to witness Jesus healing the sick. The people who witnessed this clearly had never seen anything like it before. For those who were sick or whose loved ones were sick, each healing would have had a powerful effect upon them and upon their whole family. Today, modern science, with its ability to treat so many illnesses, has lessened the fear and anxiety over getting sick. But in Jesus' time, serious illness was of far greater concern. For that reason, the desire of so many people to bring their sick to Jesus so that they could be healed was very strong. This desire drove them to Jesus so that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak and be healed. And Jesus didn't disappoint. Though Jesus' physical healings were unquestionably an act of charity given to those who were sick and to their families, it obviously wasn't the most important thing Jesus did. And it's important for us to remind ourselves of that fact. Jesus' healings were primarily for the purpose of preparing the people to listen to his word and to ultimately receive the spiritual healing of the forgiveness of their sins. In your own life, if you were seriously ill and were given the option to receive either a physical healing or to receive the spiritual healing of the forgiveness of your sins, which would you choose? Clearly, the spiritual healing of the forgiveness of your sins is of infinitely greater value. It will affect your soul for all eternity. The truth is that this far greater healing is available to us all, especially in the sacrament of reconciliation. In that sacrament, we are invited to touch the tassel on his cloak, so to speak and be spiritually healed. For that reason, we should have a much deeper desire to seek out Jesus in the confessional than the people of Jesus' day had for physical healing. And yet, too often we ignore the priceless gift of God's mercy and healing offered so freely to us. Reflect today upon the desire in the hearts of the people in this gospel story. Think especially about those who were seriously ill and about their burning desire to come to Jesus for healing. Compare that desire in their hearts to the desire or lack of desire in your heart to run to our Lord for the spiritual healings your soul so desperately needs. Seek to foster a greater desire for this healing especially as it comes to you through the sacrament of reconciliation. Let us pray. My healing Lord, I thank you for the spiritual healing you continually offer me, especially through the sacrament of reconciliation. I thank you for the forgiveness of my sins on account of your suffering on the cross. Fill my heart with a greater desire to come to you so as to receive the greatest gift I could ever receive, the forgiveness of my sins. Jesus, I trust in you.